So, yes. I'm not a magician, neither am I a professional video editor. To create a fake, realistic background, you need one simple tool, and this tool can work on your mobile phone or your laptop. So, I'm going to quickly show you how to create this fake, realistic background, even if you don't know how to edit. The most important thing is to follow me step by step, and I'll show you that after watching this video, you will shock people with your new way of creating video. Let's go. To get started with this, the first step is to get a good space to record your content. Now, here are some key things you need to take note of before you start recording or before you start you know, removing backgrounds and all that. Number one, try as much as possible to record on a plain background. You can see this background is busy. There are a lot of things going on in the background. So I can't really use this. It's not like it's not going to, you know, it's not going to do it, but I won't get a good result. So what you want to do is to record on a plain background. Uh, let me show you. So what you're going to do is you don't record on this kind of background. Now this background, there are a lot of things going on with these stripes and then this and then that. This, that background is very busy. Let me show you a plain background where you can, you know, record content. Now let's go. Okay, now you can see this is a plain background and note it doesn't have to be white. It doesn't have to be a white background. It can be blue, green, red, whatever, but it should be a plain background, all right? Now, you can record on a background like this without, you know, <laughs> without too much noise in the background compared to the one I showed you before. Now, another thing you need to take note of, you can see here, what I'm putting on is navy blue and this background is white, two different colors. It's very important. The colors need to be, let me on the line a bit. The color needs to be like, you know, different from the words on the background. You don't want to wear a white shirt and stand in front of a white background. <laughs> You're gonna mess your video up. So you want to wear a color of shirt or outfit that is different from the background. Something different from Bala Blue. So, so let's get back to this video. So like I said, another thing is your outfit. Just ensure that the color of your outfit is different from the background color. You can see here that my outfit is navy blue, dark navy, all right? And the background is white. The difference is clear. So finally, try to avoid shadows when you're recording. If you're using a ring light or a box light or just natural light, try to position yourself in a way that your shadow doesn't show in the video. It's very important so that this would work properly. If you're not a member of this channel or this community, you are missing out, seriously. So hit the subscribe button to see more helpful videos like this and also like this video if you like this content. Now we have a space to record our content. Our next step is to get a realistic background. Let's open CapCut. CapCut is open. Note, if you're using CapCut on your mobile phone, it's gonna work the same way. So just open CapCut, click on media, and then once you click on media, click on AI generated, and then enter any prompt. For example, what we are going to do, uh, we can say luxury living room studio, studio for content. Let's just see what's going to get, all right? Now you can see pictures of living room that it's generated. This time I'm gonna do it again, but what I'm gonna do is to click on adjust, this adjust button here. And since it's gonna be a YouTube video, we are going to choose 16 by nine. If it's a you know TikTok video or a Facebook reels, we'll use nine by 16. So we'll use 16 by nine and click general, all right, 16 by nine. And then we're gonna change the prompt this time. We'll just say studio for content, home studio for content, home studio for content, and click on generate. You can see the aspect ratio has changed now. All right, what we are going to do is we are going to click on HD. Here you can see HD, download, and add. We cannot add this to the timeline because it is not high definition. So we'll click on HD, the HD version, and we're going to bring the HD version of this particular image that it has generated. All right, this is the HD version of the image. So we are going to do, we can download this image or, you know, download it and save it, but we don't want to download it. You just want to add it to our timeline. 
we've added it to the timeline directly. So it has been added, or it's adding to the timeline. You can see it here on this timeline. Now, we want to remove the background for our video. Say we have recorded our video, all right? What we are going to do is to go to local and click on import. And then I'm going to import the video that we recorded, that we want to remove our background. Remember, we recorded the video initially. So we are going to import this video, which we just did. We have imported the video. All right, if you click on this minus and plus, click on minus, it's going to zoom out so you can see the timeline properly. And then what we are going to do is just trim here and trim here also. Take this up. All right, the video is going up now. So you just place the video above, all right? So we are going to do is to drag this image to the same length as the video on the timeline. So it will cover the whole space, all right? Now we click on this video. It's time to remove the background and put a fake background. We have already generated a fake background. Now it's time to remove this white background or yellow, gray, whatever background that is here. We click on this video and then click on cut out. If you're using a mobile phone, you click on remove background. But here we'll click on cut out and then click on auto cut out. And then it's going to automatically cut it out. So let's wait for it to process. And you can see it has processed. You can see the background. So what we are going to do is we are going to add blur to this background here. Let's see. Um, let's see if we can make blur this just a bit. So you go to effects and search for blur. And then we're going to download this blur. So. Before yes. we play, don't worry. We're going to drag this blur and we're going to put it on the image that we, we drag the blur. And then we're going to reduce the blur. And you can see the tone of my skin even almost matches the background of the studio. So we just reduce this just a bit. And then we play. So, yes. So you All can right. see, change the background. So what we can do, if you don't want to use AI generated image, what you can do is to go to pixels.com and then you can search for, um, you can say YouTube Studio or say Street. We can download this one. So what we're gonna do is to import the image that we downloaded. We're gonna import this image and it looks like a very dark alley. We're gonna import this image and then we're gonna increase the size so it will cover the whole, you know, the whole length and width of the video to be bigger. We drag this video up, drag it, and you can see it's sitting on top of it. And um, I'm just going to reduce this and make them lap a bit. All right, if I play this, you can see how it looks. You can see how this looks. All right, this looks realistic. So now we're gonna take this a step further to add a video background. So we are gonna go back to pixels and then we're going to click on videos and click on search again and then we download this we can download this video just look for let's see streets okay all right i'm seeing what i'm going to use all right once you have downloaded the video we are going to go back to CapCut and import the video go to media click on import and then we import the video so what we are going to do like i said before we're going to add blur to this just a bit. I'm going to blow it just a bit, you know, to give it that feel. Mm. Okay. All right. So you can see it feels like I am talking okay. in an office. Okay. So if this doesn't match, you can add filter to it. So for example, for this particular video here, I might decide to add a filter to balance the texture of 
my skin. So you see, this is better. So you can see, we're gonna add this filter here and let's play this. All right. This is fake, fake, fake background. This is also fake, all right? And this is fake. I've tried to make this as easy as possible so that so, anyone can understand, all yeah. right? I've tried to make it very easy. But if you don't understand, watch this video again, watch it from the beginning, make sure that you understand everything that I've explained in this video, or just, you know, comment in the comment section if you have questions, drop it in the comment section and tell me, did it work for you? comment in the comment section, ask your questions, and I'll give you a reply. Subscribe if you're not part of this community. If you've not joined this channel, subscribe, like this video, and I'm not done, I'm not done. Check this video here.